Okay, so not having it back with another five minute mini review. This time we have Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I haven't played the. I, I never played the first Kane and Lynch. So I, I don't know how the first one is different from this one. But I will say that I do like this one a lot. And I'll get into it here. Um, during this review right now I'm not playing the uh, single player uh, part of the game I'm playing the uh, arcade mode they put you on a team of thieves and you basically have to go in uh, collect a buttload of money and then get to some sort of extraction point a getaway vehicle and that's what you see that we're all doing um, this game has uh, single player um, and arcade mode which I'm playing right now and in a online mode which is still active because after I made this video I went online and I played and online is pretty amazing it's it's like uh, it's similar to this um, when you die you come back as a cop and then you chase the uh, criminals instead of it being the other way around the controls in this game are they're, they're good they're really good the weapons are, are good they have a, um, a nice variety of pistols, shotguns, uh, submachine guns, assault rifles. And in order to purchase them, you have to rank up. And you have to have money, of course. Uh, I think we're just about done with the first wave. We're going to get to the van. And uh, now we got one more part to go. Yeah, this is the subway, if you hadn't noticed. They have different levels. Uh, the single player campaign is is fun. I like it because it it makes it looks like it, I'm sorry. It makes it look like somebody is following you with a video camera and taping Kane and Lynch's uh, their movements, and then you two work together, of course. And at certain times where you could do. Uh, like a, uh, a co-op move where you both help each other lift up a heavy door and things of that nature it's really good I like the fact that they uh, they they went off the beaten path and actually had it looking like somebody was videotaping your every move because that's different I haven't played a game like that and the camera is uh, it's shaky like somebody's with, with their, right there with you and it, it almost looks like a uh, Cloverfield. Remember that movie? Um, it's something similar to that. It's not as bad as Cloverfield. The, the camera shake effect in Cloverfield was really, at some points, it was really, I don't know, unbearable. But uh, Tom for the numerical review, out of a 10, I give this game a, I give it an 8.5, simply because it has a good single player campaign it has good guns good sounds it's different it has a, a good online community and online game modes it has uh, the arcade mode it has everything packed into it so i give it an 8.5 really good game uh right now you see me going through all the guns i was trying to pick up a new gun uh i end up settling for that uh that gun right there the ak-47 and I was looking at my uh, how much money I got. Now it's time for Wave 2. This game is really fun. Uh, I really like it. Uh, at certain points in the game, I don't know whether it was my TV or the game itself, but it was really dark. I changed the gamma settings in the game, and that helped out a lot. But I think my TV is, uh, the brightness on my TV is really low. But that doesn't really prevent me from enjoying the game. So 8.5. Check it out. It's been out for a while, so you should be able to get it at a fairly low, a fairly, fairly low price. Wow, fairly low price. So, um, I was just picking it up, renting it, borrowing it, doing something, because it's a really good game. Uh, this video is just about done. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all my subscribers and all my support. By Kane and Lynch 2. It's awesome. I'm not having it, and I'm out. Yowch, damn it.